everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Uh, real quick, and first off, I need to say thank you to my sponsors, Linda Miller, Judy Sand, Garen Pierre, Harmony of Health, Desiree Marino, and Robert Ward. Thank you so much uh, for bringing us today's video. <laughs> Uh, without my sponsors, I would not be able to stay stocked up in the good stuff so I can test that out for you. Um, so today, uh, thanks to my sponsors, my patrons, uh, Liquitex Pouring Medium. I'm going to be testing the Rain out X out with this stuff. I have transferred it to a smaller, more manageable and pourable bottle. Uh, open letter to Liquitex. I love your products, but what is up with this packaging? It is so hard to open. I get it open and then I'm picking out pieces of my nail polish that have chipped off after I opened it. You can't pour it. So I have to use another vessel. A uh, helpful hint, I use a little silicone cup, a little silicone cup like this. Uh, that um, one of my wonderful viewers sent to me. God bless you. Uh, but I use that and just kind of dip it in and, and pour it into the bottle. But then you have to clean that so you've wasted some product. Liquitex, please put your gallon sizes in a pourable container, pretty please. I beg of thee. Satchmo, uh, really enjoys rolling himself up in the drop cloth, which is all that noise that you're hearing in the background. Oh, Satchmo. So the colors I have today are the same that I've been using to do the, these Rain-X tests. Uh, Basics in Quinacridone Magenta. Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. <laughs> Satchmo, stop it. <laughs> Phthalo Blue. And Titanium White. For my background, I'm using the Flow White Acrylic. And I have mixed these paints about uh, one to one with the Liquitex and then added some water to get the consistency that I'm looking for. Make sure everything is the same consistency. This stuff will thicken up quickly. And you will notice that I'm already wearing gloves. I wear gloves to mix this stuff. It is sticky. It dries quickly and it's sticky. All right, so this is a nine by 12. This would take about four ounces of paint, but because I'm laying down a base coat, three ounces will do. So I'm gonna fill up my cup first and then lay down my base coat because as mentioned, the stuff dries quickly. Oh, I guess I should show you the consistency. That would be helpful to you guys. Uh, I think it shows better on a color. So when you pour it off the stick, it forms a slight mound and then disappears. I'm gonna start with white. I do believe I've been doing the same mix for each piece, I think anyway. There's no silicone in here. So I did blue, I'll do magenta, layer of white. Then yellow. Blue. More white. 
and then magenta and yellow. And then if I can fit any more white, that is full. I mean, that is full, okay. Quick base coat. I do mix my base coat a little bit thinner than the paint I intend to pour, just so that the poured paint slides around easier if the paint underneath is thinner. I'm gonna use my little kitchen scraper thingy. Well, that uh, cadmium yellow light hue is doing what it does with Floetrol. It's making its own cells. Uh, don't know how that Rain-X test, test is gonna go. I may just have to make a skin and test it. Uh, huh. Darn you. Darn you make a beautiful painting. <laughs> okay, well, let's stretch this out. Um, this stuff is so much thicker. It just thickens up so quickly. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do here because I think this is so cool. I don't want to put my hand over this, but this side is so cool. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to, to mess it up. And I love this little rainbow going on in the corner here. Okay. I had to take a moment to contemplate. But 
We came in here to experiment and dag nab it. We're experimenting. I love that this happened. Uh, there'll be more straight fours coming up. <laughs> I just have the rain X on the brush and I'm just gonna barely touch it. It's interesting because you can see the colors that are underneath and you can kind of coax them out. It just has some very precise cell placement, which I love. So this area, you know, it got a little bit muddy, but uh, the rain X helped with that a lot to just bring more pure colors out. Excited about this development. All right, uh, I am going to walk away and I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. That was an unexpected result for sure. I have never had a straight pour result from a flip cup. That is trippy. And it was like pretty thick too. Usually when I do a straight pour, it's fairly thin. So we can see this side which is all the rain x cells which kind of rescued that muddy area i think i like this one here that came out really cool and i love this corner just very pretty and you can see the Liquitex has nice coverage on the sides. Okay, that is it for me. I hope y'all learned something. I sure did. Uh, <laughs> glad I got a gallon of it. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. If you find these videos helpful 
They're at the very least entertaining and would like to keep me stocked up in supplies to keep bringing you new content all the time. Uh, that is a great way to do it. Also, through the Amazon link, which you will find in the description box, if you enter Amazon through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Our wet, our our group on Facebook, go make some art. Join us over there. Post your masterpieces. Ask any questions you might have. Or just come over and get some inspiration. And then my website, GinaDeLuca.net, that is where you can purchase my art and my music. All right, you guys. That is it for me for today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.